very good offensive Red Wing team. Yes. And and defense has been a problem for us mm -hmm. for the past for the past couple of years. Now, goaltending, I think we do have the goalie in the Delkovich. I think he is very young and I think he has he has a lot of room to grow. But I think he's the guy for now. Um, you know, I know we've drafted another goalie. We, we you know, and, and that's something too. goalies. You can change. Yeah. Defenses. You have to build offenses. You have to build right offense. We have built Larkin scored a ridiculous goal tonight. He scored. I mean, the goals that were scored for the wings against, you know, this 10 to seven loss were solid goals. The wings scored good goals, but we let in horrible goals, horrible Heartbreaking goals. goals. Like just I'll give I'll give the Maple Leafs goal one and goal six. Those were good goals. Yeah. But goal two, three, four and five horrible goals. You cannot be a defenseman in the NHL. I mean, you can and they do, but you're not good. That gets turned <laughs> around, gets turned around like between the blue line and the hash marks, just they kept getting turned around. I, I And I saw it again tonight. I saw it again tonight in the win. Yeah. It, too many times guys are getting the puck and taking three steps and around a defenseman. You just can't do that. So I, I and, and this is where I come back to Blasio okay. and that def defense has been an issue, consistent issue. It, it's his job to help fix and solve that problem. Right. Can I ask a question? Go ahead. In relation to that. Sure. And yeah. In hockey, then, is is quality defense more of a schematic thing or is it more of a mentality thing? And the reason I ask that, because I would sure. say that in basketball, because both of these sports are pretty fast paced, it's constantly back and forth. I feel like in basketball, yes, there's a certain level of skill that is required for defense, but it is a mentality, right? There's a reason why the Pistons haven't been as sound defensively since, you know, the early 2000s when, you know, Ben Wallace and the crew were, were you know, running shop at the Palace. I feel like in the NBA, defense is a mentality. You have to have that mindset of, I'm going to stay in front of my man. I'm going to sacrifice my body. I'm going to do X, Y, and Z to be good defensively. Do you feel like that's the same mentality in hockey? Or do you think hockey is more of a schematic, like line shifts, having the right guys on the ice? Like, what? How does that kind of manifest itself in the NHL? Sure. I think so. I think defense, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a skill position because okay. in defense, you know, it, it's the only. Really, there are some two-way offensive players, right? That back check and get back really hard. You know, most most don't, but they're you know the really good. You know, like so lines two and three really try hard in getting back, right? That's where they make their money. Okay, is they get in the offensive, but they are busting ass back. I mean, line one guys do that because they're just gifted and they know when and how to get back. Yeah, right. So that's as an offense, you're supposed. To, that's that's why you get so tired. You're up and all the way back. You're mm -hmm. behind the goal, right? And then you got to come all the way back. Yeah, but guys that are like the Larkins and those guys that are smart, you know, who was really good at this was Datsuk, who was, was amazing at this okay. coming back and picking the pocket because he knew Datsuk would come back. John, do you remember this? When Datsuk would would come all the way back, and this guy was not paying attention, didn't Datsuk was fast to sneak up behind the guy, and the guy would lift his head up, about to pass it or shoot, and he Datsuk would just lift up a stick and take the puck. Guy didn't even know what happened, and we're going the other way. Yeah. Um. So anyway, so so often, so so it's a skill position where you have to skate backwards. You got to skate forward. You have to skate backward fast. Gotcha. And that is hard to do. Mm -hmm. It is really hard to do that on a dime too. Mm -hmm. So to me, it's it's you know it's it's a very skilled position. Okay. And so we are in the middle again of a transition from a bad team to a good team, mm -hmm. right? And so championship teams, you know, are built with defense because, like Nick Lindstrom back in the day, he would quarterback from behind the net, right? He would get the puck, settle it down. And then we'd break out and we and we would we would move forward as a group. Yeah. I feel like there's no one in our defensive unit to slow the game down, right? Too much today. And what we've seen is guys trying to force it and skate it out and get it out and panic. Gotcha. Right. So you need so so it is, it's a combination, I think, of that. Of of coaching and and skill. Correct. Okay. But but more so skill because they're on the ice, right? Gotcha. So and they got to make that decision. They got to know when to slow it down and when to speed it up. So do you think Blashell's the, the part where Blashell is failing, do you think it is that he's not preaching hard enough that like, hey, we need to slow it down. Like somebody needs to get us settled defensively so that we can. Or so I think so. So to me, Blashell, it's the it's the entire thing. It's the big picture. OK. In, in order like we fix the offensive issues. Mm -hmm. Right. We focused on that. We fixed it. I think that he's got and he's and he's he's done a good job before with goalies. So I'm not worried about that. Yeah. I think the goalies, I think these are, you know, I think that Nedeljkovic is a young goalie mm -hmm. and he gets in his own head. 
well, yeah. right? And so he's really good or really not good sometimes. Well, especially if, if the defense isn't playing consistently well, like you're kind correct. of putting it's him in, on an island. Correct. Thank you. So it's not necessarily his fault if your defense is terrible. Yeah. Okay. But that's why defense is so important. So to me, I think that we are, again, transitioning. So um, I really believe that once we we need a couple more pieces, right? I think okay. we need a couple more pieces. I think we're a couple pieces away in the defensive end, right, to do that. And, and so I think Mo Sider is just too young to take it all over, sure. right? And Mo Sider is a little more offensive-minded, too. Well, yeah. Right, he's he's more of an offensive def- We need a defensive 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 defenseman leader. Gotcha. Say that ten times fast. No, <laughs> um, and so I think we'll find that right, and and maybe Mo turns into that a little bit and, and understands. And again, Nick Lindstrom is is come back right. He's going to be part of the organization and in, in charge of the players, right? And and it'd be the 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 left hand of Stevie. Right. So I think that he will help build that defensive unit and maybe that's why Iserman brought him back right I've been saying mm-hmm. he was going to bring him back to help build and you know be the you know kind of read the tea leaves of the players sure but I think now and watching this and how bad our defense is I think he brought him back to really build the defense 